the story that comes to mind is the little seven-year-old who took one of these and she took it with her out onto the flight line and as her father's transfer case was moving from the plane to our transfer vehicle she was holding it up so that the bear could see her daddy it was her, that was her description not mine that will tear your heart right out listen to that stuff my heart has been torn out so many times i can hardly hardly count two more go ahead hey three Four. more the impact of that flag moving across in front of us, covering one of our heroes, that's never gone away. So every day we would come and uh, there were so many, so many remains that they would only do so many in a day. The remains will, will come off the flight line from here, brought over by the mortuary after the dignified transfer. They would be taken to uh, EOD that would scan for anything that was in or with the remains that could be dangerous. Uh, hand grenades. The impact of having a record of everything that was on a soldier, hugely important to families down the road. Almighty and eternal God, when he left, he was in our prayers and our hearts, even though we did not know his name. Now we mourn his loss and honor the gift of his life for the sake of peace. Are there moments with a family when I'm crying right along with them? Absolutely. Does that hurt? Yeah. Has it taken a toll? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't feel it that way. I pray that we come to a time when nations do not... <laughs> I'm going to get teary. Pray for a time when nations do not rise up against nations and young men and women do not die at the hands of war.